Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are waiting for a call from Judy about the clouds job. And so while we wait for that call, uh, we'll do some gigs. We'll start like making our way back to like middle of the city ish, probably near clouds. Uh, we got a gig out here about stealing a van. So we need to find the van in the end cart tunnels, which is just great. And uh, there's, we're in animal territory, as they have conveniently marked for us. Oh, hello. Let's breach this and see what we have. Turrets shut down friendly turrets or mass vulnerabilities. Well, what if we do... Uh, let's ignore the top one. So let's do 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five, uh, five, five, E9BD. And not shut the turrets down. Let's make the turrets friendly. Does that just mean that they're going to, like, not kill me? Or does that mean they're going to kill them? What the shit is right? You better check that out. She is jacked. She can destroy me. Probably one punch. Oh. Is that the van? Ha <laughs> ha! Yup. Look at this guy doing weights. Oh, why can't I overload this? That would be cool. Let me breach here. Let's go 7A, uh, 1C, 7A, 5-5. I'm making turrets friendly, but I'm not able to, like... They're not just shooting at people. I don't even know where the turrets are. Which is one of the problems. Okay, hello, I get it. We know where the van is. Now we need to get there. Okay, this is not good. Let's do a ping here. What? How? Wait. Oh, the turrets just went off, I think. Oh, this could actually be great. Okay, I don't know what triggered the turrets or how that happened, but okay. Well, that's... That, those are, that's an interesting choice of words. Thanks. It must have been... That was a... Oh, what the... This is so difficult right now. <laughs> the ass maggot? Dude. Okay. They're still hunting. They know something's up. Take him? Wow. The fact that I'm not dead yet is shocking. <laughs> I love it. It's like a cute little pet name now. I need distractions. Oh boy. Can you imagine if you could like... If you could do uh, hacking stuff through walls, like you didn't need direct line of sight. How am I going to get this guy? Yeah, cockroaches be everywhere. Exactly. Oh, God. I 
Oh my god. Get in the car. What? Heal, heal. I can't heal. Oh! Where are they? Oh boy. Get to the road! They had no idea we were even in there. That was extremely subtle. Park van in the lot by the Market Pacifica. Yeah, no problem. I need to get out of this thing. We'll also keep an eye out for uh, tarot cards. I think we only have... I think we're only missing five. Normally, I'm not a like collectibles type, but it is tied to Jackie's ex, and I kind of... Or, well, I guess ex is the right word, but Jackie's girlfriend, Misty. And I wouldn't mind seeing if that leads somewhere. Do we have any nearby? Uh, we have one way out there. This would be the other one that we could maybe get to. That would be in the zone. We have one out here. Can we filter in here? Just realize, like, the only way we can really... Oh, yeah, actually, top left. Filter. Drop points. Jobs. Oh, really? So not even. I can't get down to that granular of a thing. All right, well, we have one, so we'll do that. Easy. Easy money. Well, that's a lot of cash. That's not a bad idea. Especially if you're paying like that. Okay. So there are these other things out here. Uh, beat on the brats. There's these side jobs, which I'd be interested in. Beat on the brats, side job, side job. We'll tackle these along the way to that card and just wait for Judy. Like, I don't think there's anything I can do to, to prompt her. Regina, nice. Oh, this is going to be a cyber psycho, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine a lot of these side jobs that are outstanding are exactly this, which is fine. If they're along the way, we'll tackle them. It's outfitted in full military gear. This could be a vet suffering from PTSD, but why the getup? Maybe he felt the cyberpsychosis coming on and wanted to look the part. Something doesn't add up. Let's see. Um, I know, I know that we don't need to do this because just taking them out normally, um, it doesn't kill them. It just incapacitates them. Let's see if I can make this jump. Woohoo! We got bodies. Trail of corpses. Military grade rifle. Am I going to get sniped here? I feel pretty confident that we can take out the psychos. More bodies. Appears to be the group leader. Only victim not to be killed immediately. Suffered a slow and painful death. Oh, that's good. He's a friendly, friendly psycho. Damn.
Uh, motherfucker already killed 20 of ours. What's taking so long? He's hunting us. He's biding his time. Two, three businesses down the drain because of you. Can't even see him. He's holed up like a rat waiting for the perfect moment. She's just right. She's perfect. You'll see my fucking ass. What are you waiting for? Draw him out, you leadheads. Use her as bait. Understood, boss. We'll set up a trap with a daughter and this fucker once and for all. It's not about the daughter anymore. It's about revenge. Remind him the girl's all that matters, you dumb sacks of shit. When he pokes his ugly head out, we'll nail him between the eyes. At least he's using his head, unlike you. Yesterday, I heard the grass rustle in the wind and thought that he was coming to burn down my house. I can't live like this. Ooh. They're scared. This resident, uh, I would run if I were you. Can breach this. Sure. We're hostile. Ha! Huh. I think we've glitched them significantly. <laughs> See, and look, he's alive. Totally fine. Well, yeah, he's alive. He's writhing in pain. Old combat vest, power assault rifles thousand bucks we want a truce interested i want my daughter and i'll get her with or without a truce we made a mistake we want to give her back down okay that's the daughter they were talking about damn right you did when and where pure in pacifica we leave the girl and we go our separate ways be there in 20 minutes don't make me look for you and they tried to screw him i think likely hiding during the shooting killed by the same military rifle used to kill the gangsters he was just trying to get his daughter back. See, this part of the cybercycle stuff is interesting to me. Regina. Wasn't easy, but I kept him alive. Glad you made it out in one piece and left our guy alive. Too bad NC's Apex Predators already sniffed him out, meaning max tack. Probably best we get out of their way this time. Gangsters picked the wrong tomb to fuck with. Yeah. I'd say so. Tigers took a liking to the girl and decided to turn her into a doll. Big mistake. Little did they know her daddy was ex-special forces. Okay. Wasted no time in hunting their sorry hides down. Only option they had left was to lure him into a trap. Bigger mistake. Don't underestimate an ex-commando who wants his daughter back. He hunted every last tiger as easily as if he was a goddamn safari. Yo, that was crazy. That was crazy. This is, of course, right next to Embers. I wonder if it's in the Embers building. You know what? I bet you that it is. I bet you this is in the Embers building, which means we don't want it. Not interested. We'll do that one, obviously, last, I guess. Uh, but that means... How many do we have left? Fool on the hill. We have so we have 15 out of 20. Be nice if these would kind of lead us. We have to be in at this level. So there's one way out here we could go to. We'll likely just quick travel. Then maybe that'll like prompt her to give us a call too. But this is a nice excuse to check out some of the stuff that we might not get to otherwise, so. And I will check that one, uh, that tarot card, before we go to that last mission to see if it's outside of that building. But it seems like it's 
going to be inside of it. Oh, rough. All right. So let's hop over here. Alrighty, and then, where's the card? Uh, this one would have been closer, but that's okay. Weird how you can't, like... Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, there we go, Judy's calling. Absolutely. Before sundown. All right. So we have some time. Let's track this job. Mega Building 8. My favorite song. I think we were just out here for the uh, router quest. Easy peasy, the star. Okay, where are you? Empress. This art reminds me so much of Disco Elysium. It's, it's wild. Uh, the star is the card of hope. In the darkest of nights, there is a light that shines the path to home. The star is inspiration, motivation, and gives us strength to move forward. Well, isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? And look, there was a thing right next to it, too. Okay, before we hit this, can we see any other cards on the map? We should, right? Here's one we could go to. So we're going to go to North Oak. We'll grab that one. There must be more north or somewhere in the cluster of the city. Maybe you have to zoom in closer. Might be some that are, you know, sometimes they're grouped up and you have to zoom in super tight. Let's actually, uh, let's take the bike. It's been a minute. Oh boy. Oh God. There goes the Porsche. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. I won't ask questions. We should actually, we should be using, uh, what is this? Weird. The moon. The moon reminds us that reality is not always what it seems at first glance. In a world of appearances and illusions, the best co course is often charted by one's own intuition. The moon is also the card of dreams, desires, and of course, sleep, death's nightly ritual. <laughs> it's, uh, 
dark way of looking at things. Oh, here we go. I don't know what this building is. Like somebody's just like, it's just somebody's mansion. It almost looks like the Arasaka logo, but I can't be certain. Let's look in here for a second. Uh, so we're wearing Johnny's replica jacket. These ones give a little bit extra armor. But I'm looking for like the Arasaka logo. You see how it's in the middle there? Yeah, for sure it is. Okay, weird. That seems a that seems very strange. All right. Okay, this is where we're heading ultimately, but let's go here, Japan town. <clears throat> I know there's quite a few people asking to to go finish this uh, these card quest lines, so we'll see if we can knock this out all in uh, today's episode. Looks like it's down below. Huh. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Sometimes we lose that mark when we get close. The Hierophant. This thing with eyes? Yeah. Hierophant symbolizes a respect for tradition. It represents one who tries to maintain the established order, even though their very character is shaped by it. The Hierophant places his faith in institutions, for the alternative is pure chaos. Only by placing his faith in order can he draw strength. Damn. Okay, we're close. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so now we need to find the other ones. Uh, we want to not... Wait. Oh, yeah, this is... Sorry, this is not... I was getting this this one confused with um, the Hanako quest. So see how there's this one? I think that's inside her building. That's certainly what it looks like. But then, like, I'm not seeing the other cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where the heck could they be? I don't know between you and me. I think they're hidden pretty well. Can't you see? I'm out of rhymes. Okay, I don't I don't see them. So there's this one, but it's by Hanako. So we will do that like last. Uh oh, here we go. Look at this one. I got one way up here. Track this. We'll jump over to California and Cartwright. And then that'll be our last one before uh, the Hanako one. I can actually take a look at the Hanako one and see if it's outside. I just really don't want to go inside because I don't. that's the point of no return. So, man, it's like that's the challenging part of these things is just finding them on the map. Let's bring the arch out. 
Hey, you simmer down. Digital one. Super cool. The Emperor. Emperor represents patriarchal control and is pleased with the authority and power he possesses to shape the future. The Emperor makes the rules but and enforces them for the common good. But prestige has its dark sides. The Emperor is dominating and ruthless and will climb over a mountain of bodies to achieve his aim. Yeah, you're right. You are correct. Okay. So let's see. Let's try it. This is at embers. Hopefully not inside. Okay, let's track this thing. Mm, could be on the outside. Might get lucky here. Oh, beautiful. I can't believe we got them all. And of course, it's death. <laughs> the last one. Oh, wait. What? Wait, what? Death is a card of becoming. It signifies an imminent and difficult transition, the conclusion of one phase of life and the beginning of another. Inevitably, something gets lost during the transformation, but something else will rise to take its place. Wait a second. Oh, talk to Misty now. Sick. Okay, cool. So this is leading to something. I like it very much. Very much. And it looks like there's two cards, so maybe something comes up where she's like, look, I know I said these were all of them, but there's two more. They're in hard to reach places. You're going to have to assassinate. You're going to have to assassinate the leader of Militech. It could happen. Well, I can't be sure because they're all kind of general. Okay. Oh, yeah, see? <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, what does judgment represent? Okay, devil doesn't sound very good. And what about the overall journey? <laughs> huh. Declare victory or make peace. I wonder.
Yeah, I mean, hopefully. Thank you, I guess. So, wait a second. So did she, did she give us the last couple of cards or something? No, she said, I'm still missing two. Arcanum, I think she called it. What the hell, Misty? Can't you just like be, just use English? Just use words that I understand. I wonder if she's going to go through, like, oh, <laughs> I want to buy another deck. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. Like, these things are so crazy to me. So there's still two cards, but she did not give us a, she did not give us any type of uh, location. So I don't know. If, well, I guess we'll just keep an eye out for more of the um, graffiti. Actually, we're pretty close to this. We need to go in the afternoon, but I mean... Oh, speaking of... <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Don't have to take up the whole section, buddy. That's not a fat comment. I'm not shaming. I'm just saying you're walking right in the middle like an ass. Beautiful. Yo! Excuse me. All right. Tell you what, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. Come back. We're going to start Pisces right away. And uh, we'll see how this goes with the... I guess clouds take over. We did formulate a plan in the apartment, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, also, I only have one bullet, I just noticed. So that's also great. That'll be fun when things inevitably get screwed up. <laughs> see you soon.